Good morning, this is Amy McCullough with the National Weather Service Office in San Angelo with an update to the weather briefing this early Wednesday morning. We'll start out with conditions this morning across west central Texas. Temperatures remain below freezing across the area with readings generally in the mid to upper 20s across most of the area. We do have a little bit of fog across western sections of west central Texas, generally along and west of a line from Sweetwater to Mertzen to Ozona. Visibility may drop to one-fourth to one-half mile at times across these areas, and with temperatures remaining below freezing, a little bit of water could condense out of the clouds and freeze on exposed surfaces. Also, any water that remained on roads yesterday has frozen overnight, so be sure to watch for icy road conditions this morning, especially on bridges and overpasses. We do have a freezing fog advisory in effect until 9 a.m., generally across the western sections of west central Texas, again mainly west of a line from Sweetwater to Mertz and to Ozona. Conditions should clear up rapidly after 9 a.m., and the sun should come out, which will lead to much warmer temperatures today. The good news is we're definitely going to see a warming trend through the rest of the week and into early next week across west central Texas. Highs today will generally be in the 50s and 60s, but will warm into the 70s by tomorrow and into the weekend. We do have a weak cold front that will come through on Friday, and we could see some breezy conditions with an elevated fire weather danger. Again, that's Thursday into Friday. Temperatures, however, are not expected to cool much behind this front, with highs still in the 60s and 70s. Now, the weekend will be especially warm, with temperatures climbing all the way into the upper 70s to lower 80s. So definitely some good news for areas across west central Texas as, that have seen such cold weather and ice over the last week. Stay tuned for later updates from the National Weather Service.